<clears throat> yeah. Look, look. I, I saw the letters flying around, and that's the vibe I got. I, it was worth a try. Hey there, guys! It's Chaos Maelstrom Time. Welcome back to more Hatton Time. In the last episode, we entered Nyakiza Metro, the first of the two DLC levels. Well, actually, it's the second, but it's the first that's accessible, so... And in this episode, uh, we're gonna go back to, um... Uh, uh, what is it? Alpine Skyline. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll see the Empress and, uh, be terrified again. Also, uh, okay, it's not just me, so that little glitchy speck has also shown up on the capture. What is going on with- Oh, okay, okay, it was the, um, for some reason part of the, uh, little uh, line connecting to the time rift icon, um, that was, uh, Brain. That was visible before it was actually loaded properly. Weird. Okay, uh, that's in front of the big windmill. We, um, we could do that, or we could just go back and do Alpine Skyline proper. Um, I wonder. Oh, okay, alright. I, I see. That, that That's still Subcon Forest. It, it, it's just the backdrop of the uh, plane in the background changes. Um depending on what place on the planet you're looking at, I guess. We'll get into more of, like, the details of, like, the planet, because, uh, you, you see, like, like, there's a big desert region. I think it's implied that that's all where Dead Bird Studios is supposed to be. But originally, that was going to be an entirely different uh, free roam level, the, the Beta Alpine Skyline, which was originally a desert-themed area called Sand and Sails. And a post commentary here because this is where the lag got really bad. Uh, I think the main problem was that it was an issue with um, just my computer's disk space. I cleaned it up a lot uh, a couple episodes after this. So yeah, there might be a couple more instances like this. As you can see here, there are lots of areas where there's just like skips in audio and video. But yeah, it shouldn't be a too too important uh, later on. Okay, so yeah, Sand and Sails was the beta of Alpine Skyline, is what I was saying earlier. Uh, here I was debating which badges I wanted to have on. I believe I put on the Treasure Hunter badge because I wanted to find uh, more yarn balls to make the um, Time Stop hat. Alright. Oh yes, thank you. I wouldn't have known that birds like shiny things. Well, then again, it's also human instinct to like shiny things. And here's where I noticed that, uh, the, uh, uh, bombs from the brewing hat, uh, the money sticks around when you have the Anyakuza, um, flare equipped. But yeah, um, I, I tried to abuse that and see how much I can get out of it. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not infinite. But yeah, here's where post-commentary will end and regular commentary will pick back up because I can resync it then. So, laters. <laughs> Except not. Okay. I'm not seeing a limit on this. I, I, okay, it fades away really, really slowly. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, yeah, definitely want your magnet available so you can easily grab all these pawns that you fly by. Uh, we got the bird pass fork over here. Hey, this way doesn't lead to any peaks. Oh, that sounds like a way to treasure then. Let's go. Oh, jeez, this is. Ah! Okay, well that was terrifying. Um, yeah, th this just, hey, this, this place just lead to any le just reeks of treasure. Okay, much better this time. Okay, I had to get it ba all bouncy like first. Sorry, I'm not used to having to bounce like that. Okay. There's totally gonna be Lazy Paws around here, aren't there? This looks like a place where Lazy Paws would be. That beware sign also doesn't really help calm me down one bit. God, I hate Lazy Paws. If there is a way that you can attack them before, you know, they decide to be jerks to you, that'd be wonderful. Um, okay, well I know for a fact there's Lazy Paws over here, because this place just reeks of it. The Purloined Village. 
I'd hold on to that hat of yours. Yeah, Lazy Paws can actually swipe your hat in, in case they didn't do that the last time they encountered that. Look, Lazy Paws, I've got money for you. You want to go for that nasty, uh, fake-ass money that the Empress down in the Nyakaza Metro gave me, right? Yeah, you can't actually use the money that she gives you in exchange for the timepieces for anything. At all. But, on the bright side of things, um, that money, uh, well, no, there's nothing positive about the money, but... What is the... Yeah, the, the time pieces we collect in Yakuza Metro still get added to our total. We just don't physically have them on us. Yet. I'm sure that will change eventually, but... That would either involve the Empress giving them to us, or... us stealing it from her. Which I don't see happening anytime soon. I hate you so much! Stop being invisible! Why? Why can I not hit you? <sighs> you can see why I hate lazy paws now. They're just obnoxious and okay. There. If I had died to the freaking raccoon, sleeping raccoon, I would have been very upset. Okay. I need help badly. Player one needs ham badly. Wow. I can't believe I referenced the Billy and Mandy fighting game of all things. I mean, it, it's not a bad game per se. It's just very niche and you can tell that it was just a quick cash grab, but not a bad one at that. It, it's still pretty fun and there's a hell of a lot of game modes to play. Plus the narrator for the game is King Weird Al Yankovic. What's not to love? All right, uh-huh. I am so worried that I'm about to get freaking sideswiped here at any second by these stupid lazy paws, because I know it's coming. They're always around, just waiting for you to let your guard down. You see, up here is the perfect place. What? Oh, 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 yeah, that's fair. That was fair. Yeah, cause the game to lag the frig out and then attack me in the middle of it. That's fair. Oh, hey, treasure. Give me the treasure so I can get out of here. Lazy pause. They really... Okay. That has to be the very last relic. I do not think there are any more relics from this point forward. If there are, well, then that's just me not knowing that there were more. Oh, hey, a coin. What is, why is the game so afraid of giving me yarn? How, how much yarn do I need for my time stop hat anyway? I'm, I'm only, I'm a little over halfway there. Okay, that is very concerning. I honestly don't know where else to look for yarn at this point. I've been all over the place now, and I feel like I should have gotten some yarn. A, a lot more yarn than I should have the past few episodes. Okay. Well, uh, let's go over here. Hopefully we'll find some yarn over here. Also, there's the birdhouse over there in that giant cage. Also, you know what would be really nice? Oh, yarn. Well, yes, yarn would be very nice, but I was also going to say, you know, would be very nice. Some, some health so I don't die. Or, you know, I could land on a conveniently placed tree. That helps too, but, uh... Oh, okay. That, that's good game design right over there. That's good game design. I didn't even notice the springboard until I fell down here. Make sure you swing towards the path you want. Uh, yeah, I, I, I will do that just... After, you know, where are the friggin' heart ponds, man? I'm... No, there's absolutely nothing over there. I'm Make not gonna sure waste my time. The path you... What? What is it with this game and lagging out? Is that showing up on the capture, too? 
I really hope it is, because otherwise it looks really awkward. Uh, do I even get the offer? Oh, wait, no. I have to go over here, and then it will give me the second path. Okay. Yeah, yeah we got a Horn of Gondor over here, so we can do that. Alright. Um, oh, boy. Th there's totally going to be something up there. I bombed. There's a horn at the top. Okay, well, if there is something over there, I don't have the patience to go and grab it right now. Or, you know, the heart pawns. Uh, there we go. That feels a little better. Okay. I feel safer now. Oh, heart pawn! Thank goodness. Okay, I'll finally feel less naked. Which, to be fair, having a hat kid running around naked is not a thing that is acceptable. Okay, I'm doing... <laughs> why, why aren't you diving that... Okay, what What am I doing wrong here? This is just a simple jump. <sighs> okay, I might have had a little bit of a heart attack there, but it's okay. Everything's alright. Nobody's dead. Least of all me. Oh, they even give us a checkpoint here. How kind of them. Again, I absolutely love the atmosphere of the um, overworld of Alpine Skyline. It's just a very feel-good song. Especially when you contrast it with that ominous starting area when we first uh, entered the uh, level. Okay. I think we're okay. Alright, we are clear to blow the horn of Gondor. Alright. And now that creates an alternate path from where we started earlier. We cleared the serpentine bird horn. Alright, uh, I wonder, is there any yarn that I can see around here? I do not see any yarn, nor was there really any, uh... uh <laughs> worth it! Uh, actually, I think I might keep the hover badge on in this case. Uh, also, normally you'd just open the parasol if you still had that, but since I had the bat equip, Hat Kid just flaps her arms, and that works. As if to say, you know what? How about I just flap my arms? Whatever. Maybe she's a bird in disguise, which is why we're going to the birdhouse. Okay. Go ahead and hang left this time so we can end up at the birdhouse. Um. Okay. Uh, I want the pawns down here, so if you don't mind. Alright. Yeah. Now, climb up this way. I said climb up this way. Why can I not climb up this thing? Am I missing something here? What, why do you decide to climb climb the ladder now? Whatever, I don't care. Right. More sleepy raccoons. It doesn't matter because you're dead to me and you are also dead. Oh, get... I, I was hoping I'd get to a point where he'd just fall over the abyss. Y yes, thank you. I, I, I'm so glad I, I you told me that. You can also see evidence of Satan sails because these guys almost look like they have little um, pharaoh headdresses. But they were later changed to like being like um, coverings for like mountain climbers and such. Okay. We're almost done. 
here. Well, I mean, I, I hope we're almost done here. Because I would really like to be able to go up there. Also, I forgot to turn off my phone for this. Or at least mute my phone. So if you heard Puppet Pal Mitch from Dexter's Laboratory going bonk in the meantime, that is my current text tone. And, uh, yeah. Originally I had it, uh, as, uh, Usada Pekador going, SHUT UP, BITCH! But, uh, yeah. I might have been in yoga during the time, and we were just about winding down when my phone went off because I didn't have it muted when I thought it was, and, uh, yeah, that was incredibly embarrassing, and, um, I didn't want to, um, have anything like that happen again. I can't believe this worked. Oh, boy. Give me! You know, no, 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 no. Don't you dare push me off, freaking... Jotaro Kujo wannabe? No, 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 not Jotaro Kujo. Uh, shit. I... Josuke! Josuke Fujioka. That is his name, right? I... I know. Whatever, I'm... The thing is, I... We have more boxes to destroy. I said, we have more boxes to destroy. I said, we have more boxes to destroy. There we go. Okay, and now we finally made it to the birdhouse uh, ramp thingy, my bob. Oh boy. Uh, we might have to make this a little bit of a shorter episode <laughs> because it, well, how long it usually takes to get to these areas. Anyway, welcome to the. Oh, Jesus, that kid! Uh, There's a lot say? of really big structures up on these peaks. Really? I, I didn't notice. Well, I wonder who built them. Birds don't build birdhouses, right? I mean, you never know. But if you really want the answer, I can tell you Gears for Breakfast made it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, um, uh... Badges are... Uh, give me some good badges. Uh, oh, we have the projectile badge that we can get soon enough. Uh, I can do that, or I can, uh... We'll get this later. Uh, we're almost to a point where I'm gonna want the, um, scooter badge, but first and foremost, uh... I know that this has been of a bit of a smaller episode, and a lot of it was spent in just getting here, but we're gonna go ahead and call it here for now. Next time on A Hat in Time, we explore the birdhouse. I love you all. See you guys next time. Laters! Just kidding, I don't care about you at all. That, that's a lie note. P please don't leave me. I'm very lonely. You see? I, 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 I have to play with action figures. To now kiss! <laughs> I've never seen that idle animation. That is adorable. <laughs> okay, for real though. Laters.